friends and net aspirants welcome back to yet another video session of high point our channel and we are going to discuss and learn about richard crasho one of the major metaphysical poets of the 17th century richard crasho lived from 1613 to 1649 and we will see biographical details in the introductory part and we will see major works written by crasho okay and before that if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel if you are interested to have more detailed videos related to english literature which are relevant for your net jr of english preparation exam preparation and also follow me on instagram there too we are sharing variety of free materials which will be helpful which will be helpful for your net jr of english language and literature exam preparation also visit my website www.highpoint.in for in order to know exactly what you need to uh, cover one by one in order to have a full coverage for the syllabus of the syllabus of nta ugc net jrf english language and literature because we had divided the indicative syllabus of nta ugc net jrf english uh, under 11 topics in the website and under which we have given one by one uh, the relevant topic uh, in order to uh, study in order to in order you to study for your net year of english language and preparation so if you wanted to join our family as a student you can subscribe to the course from the website itself after the free trial if you are interested to have the entire course materials that we are providing for the uh, net year of english language and literature preparation you can uh, join the uh, you can join the course as a student and use the whatsapp number or the instagram page to reach out to me if you want to know anything more related to the course materials and the offers and free materials or anything related to the website and the materials now let's move on to the major topic of this video richard crasho let's have the biographical details about the poet he, he was an english poet crasho was the son of william crasho a puritan preacher in london and during his graduation he published epigrammatum sacrorum liber a book of sacred epigrams a collection of latin words on uh, scriptural subjects scriptural subjects so he was also uh, mainly he was also writing religious uh, works religious poems and uh, uh, lyricism lyrics religious and devotional lyrics during his graduation he even came up with uh, this work epigrammatum sacrorum liber he went against his father's preachings even though he was also had he also had the devotional uh, he was also writing devotional poems and all he mainly went against his father's preachings as a puritan preacher due to civil war and being a catholic he fled to france and spent the rest of his life in exile he was not an anglican poet he was a catholic poet civil war was broken in england during his time he went to france he exiled to france and he spent uh, his rest of his life in exile he became a roman catholic around 1645 and cowley abraham cowley his friend saw him in utter poverty and introduced him to queen henrietta maria of england so abraham cowley he was also a contemporary major poet and abraham cowley his close friend introduced richard crasho to Queen Henrietta Maria of England after seeing his extreme poverty now moving on the queen further recommended him to the pope and he got the position of sub canon of the cathedral of Santa Casa in Loreto the queen uh, in turn recommended him to the pope and he also got a position of sub canon of the cathedral of Santa Casa in Loreto after 4 months of his position he died after 4 uh, months of his position he died crasho major poetry appeared crasho's major poetry appeared in steps to the temple appeared in or uh, published in 1649 in uh, this particular work steps to the temple in this uh, collection of poetry we can see richard crasho's major poems the title indicates crashes debt to george herbert in the previous video about george herbert which is available in the i button you can see it if you have missed it uh, so uh, george herbert famous work is the temple so uh, crasho took that name the temple and he uh, made his uh, title steps to the temple for 
the collection of his poetry. His style reflected a 17th century movement called Marinism or uh, Sessentismo. So this was a moment. This was a movement. Marinism or Sessentismo. It's a movement uh, was famous in 17th century and Crashow's works reflected this uh, style uh, uh, which was relevant in 17th century. This movement was popularized by the Italian poet Guillaume Battista Marino. So, uh, Marinism or Sessentismo is a movement was practiced and popularized by an Italian poet Guillaume Battista, Guillaume Battista Marino. It was a reaction against classism. So, this movement, Marinism, is a, uh, was a reaction against classism marked by extravagant metaphors. See here, uh, those who followed this Marinism, this movement, they also used extravagant metaphors, hyperbole, uh, and fantastic world play and original myths, all written with great sonority and sensuality and with the aim to start it. So, they used all these extravagant metaphors, hyperbole, fantastic wordplay and original myths and great all these poems in this movement written with great serenity and sensuality in order to startle the readers, in order to surprise the readers. And Crasher was one of the major followers of Marinism in 17th century. These are some of the major works by him, Epigrammatum Sacrorum Liber, published in 1634, Steps to the Temple, uh, published in the year 1646, A Letter from Mr. Crusher to the Countess of Denbigh, Against Irresolution and Delay in Matters of Religion, published in 1653, uh, Richardi Crashi, Poemeta et Epigrammata, published in 1670. I'll read the titles again. Epigrammatum Sacrorum Liber. Step to the Temple. Do remember this name. Step to the Temple. The Temple is written by whom? Uh, George Herbert. But Steps to the Temple is written by whom? Richard Crashow. A letter from Mr. Crashow to the Countess of Denbig against irresolution and delay in matters of religion. Richard Crashy for Mimeta et Epigrammata. So these are the works by Richard Crashow. I hope, yeah, I guess that's all about uh, Richard Crashow. If you want to know anything more related to him, you can refer to the website and uh, use the WhatsApp number in order to uh, reach out to me if you wanted to know anything related to the study materials that we are providing in our website or anything related to NTA, UGC, NTJRF, English Language and Literature. And also follow me on Instagram for a variety of materials that we are sharing uh, there in a daily basis. And if you have any questions and queries related to uh, this particular video, you can comment that below. If you have any add-on facts and uh, points related to him, you can also add that in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon while you subscribe and press the like button. If you like this video and share this video, those who are in need, uh, your friends and your family members. That's all about it. Meet you in the next video session. Until then, stay tuned to High Point and to bye bye. Thank you.